Today on Cribs, we head to Credit Karma, a free credit and financial management platform. Credit Karma is part of that coveted tech unicorn club. We head to visit founder Ken Lin about what it's like working at a unicorn and to check out the new space. Here we have our cafe. Um, so when we sort of moved into the building, we really thought about what was important in terms of what our employees liked. And the commonality was coffee. There's a lot of great food here uh, in terms of being in downtown San Francisco. So we thought coffee was one of the areas that you know, everyone could really uh, get behind. It was actually also a great collaboration area. So you know, a lot of us spent a lot of time having meetings in coffee bars. And we thought, well, why not have our own coffee bar? So here we've got our own uh, set of you know, great coffees. We've got the pour overs. We've got the great latte art. And you know, I think it's something that we can all rally around. It's an area where we generally just have a lot of, uh, a lot of time and fun and working with one another. How do, you, how do you juggle work-life balance? Because you talked about the origins being in coffee shops and now you're here. Yeah. Well, I think if you, so if you think about the work-life balance here, you know, Credit Karma is you know, eight years old now. We actually have a lot of young families. I think we're very cognizant of having a company that respects the idea of you shouldn't be at work for 80 hours a week. So we really think about, you know, how do we get to work at 9 o'clock in the morning, be efficient, have our coffee. At the end of the day, you know, we, we think that a good work-life balance is, you know, going home at 7 o'clock and not 12 o'clock. And I think we've spent a lot of time optimizing our perks and the company just to get to those parts of goals. Credit Karma operates inside the Fulun, a historic building off of Market built in 1908, just after the great earthquake that shook the city flat. The building straddles San Francisco's financial district and the hustle and bustle of tourists and shoppers in Union Square. So now we're one in the work areas. This is actually where our ICE team is. So if you think about the layout of the office, we're in a, actually a big triangle with a center light well that we have. Um, and again, this is you know where one of our operations teams work. And I hear you guys have a pretty flat organization. What does that mean? We really think that you know passion and the ability is what matters the most here, and we believe everyone that we hire has those things. In which case, you don't need to manage a lot of people. You sort of uh, lay out the problem at hand, and you let people sort of solve those problems naturally. What's a typical day here? So you know we work in a you know because we're a startup and growing pretty quickly, uh, days change quite a bit. But I would say that you know the day starts off with everyone uh, focusing on what the goals of the day are. So we work in a lot of teams and a lot of scrums, which really means a recap of here are the projects that we're working on, here's the progress, here are the results of you know, sort of the last set of tests for the last set of product development that we had. And you know, here's what we're going to tackle today. So every day is a little bit fluid. Um, you know, again, we work in uh, weekly sprint cycles. So we're releasing pretty quickly. We're putting a lot of product in front of our members and we're learning quite a bit. Yeah, and it kind of helps to be now one of the unicorns. Yeah, you know, I think there's a certain amount of you know branding cachet along with it, but you know for us we really try not to let that get to our heads. We really think about what are we going to build for consumers, what's the mission of the company, and I think that's something that doesn't get talked about quite a bit in Silicon Valley, which is you know how important is the mission of every company, and for us that's the most important thing. I think we would probably throw away all the accolades and all the brands around Unicorn if we could just build a better product. We think that's what matters. The company hired over 250 new people in the last two years and plans to hit 450 workers by the end of the year. There's a major focus on group activities and participation built into the life of the company. So now we're in the more social aspect of the company. So behind us we've got our ping pong and shuffleboard, which is pretty common here. Uh, because we have an open office, we think privacy is also very important. So we have some privacy booths here where people can have calls and just a little bit more quiet time. Uh, we're a very social company. So you can kind of see that here with our bar and just our general uh, openness. Um, you know, we think it's important for everyone to be able to collaborate at Credit Karma and we've tried to build the office in a way that people can really interact with that in a way that's not forced. Tell me a little bit about the social perks you offer here. Yeah, what are ways that people can interact with one another? So we have about 50 clubs at Credit Karma. We have a running club, we have a game club. Uh, you know, we have a, a charity club. So we really think about what are people's passions. We try to make it organic and we try to foster that by creating an atmosphere, but also the structural pieces, whether that's financially or just carving out the time within the organization where people can participate about things that they really care about. The other thing I noticed here is the design of the space. And immediately when I walked in, I could smell kind of the newness of the construction. Yeah. Tell me, is, is it, brand, it has to be brand new. Yeah, so the building itself is, you know, I think over 100 years old. Right. Uh, what we really loved about the building, though, is this idea that you could take a lot of the old and the character of the old building, but also put in a lot of the modern amenities. Who designed the space? So we worked with a number of companies, right? So the, the landlord had some aspects of it. We worked with Huntsman and ASD on both of our floors. And, you know, we are a financial services company. I'm sure we've been
been all in, you know, a lot of financial banks and whatnot, and we try to actually avoid that feel, right? So we really like this kind of character, and we think it's very reflective of who we are as an organization. Very forward-looking, but at the same time, sort of, you know, grounded in the roots of sort of, uh, you know, what finance is and the security of it.